WAOB News 10 Sports. Morgan, it was another action-packed Friday night yes. of basketball, high school basketball right here in the Good Life City. We've been talking about it all week long. Monroe and Doherty, the rivalry. Let's just get to the highlights. You were out there tonight. Yeah, you're right, Aaron. Justin Burns and Monroe hosting Kalik Singletary Jinx and the Doherty High Trojans. We knew this one could be a close one. Trayvon Williams on the putback. Trojans lead just 7-6 at the end of one. Yeah, we're going to move to the second quarter here. Justin Burns is going to be off the miss here. 17 for him tonight. The Golden Tornadoes up 12-9 in the very next play. Jayon Burns to a wide open Markel Jones. The game was tied at 12. 10 in the first half by Jaquan Maddox, allowing the home team to reclaim the lead as we head into the final two. Can the Trojans fight back, Aaron? You know they would. Well into the third, Burns is going to bet on himself. And it's a three-point game. Nice move there, taking it to the rack. The other Burns warms up at the right time, getting the takeaway, jamming this one in. The Trojans just unable to take over in this one. Yeah, Lorenzo still is going to split the defenders here. And we would see plenty more of him as the night goes on. He finished with 22 in the Golden Tornadoes, add another onto their 10-game win streak, putting the Trojans to bed 59-48. to the Lady Trojans looking for bragging rights in their third region victory. The Lady Trojans trail early, but Jaja Chambers gets things going, knocking this one in from distance. Less than three to go in the half. Zamaya Mitchell lets it rip from the wing. Trojans down six. Taylor McKenzie answers on the other end. Nothing but net. I mean, she's a shooter, Aaron. We've seen that all season. All season. KJ Cree finds McKenzie in transition. The same exact spot, and the three is good. Three triples by the freshman tonight. That one right before the intermission. The green and gold up 34-19. And from there, it was all Lady Tornadoes. Acre finishing with contact. The start of a 12-point run. Acre taking care of business tonight. Finishing with 29. 21 of those in the last two quarters. McKenzie also had herself a night as well. Coach Acre told me Taylor was a little nervous before this matchup, but you honestly could not tell. The Rising Star finished with a season high, or should I say a career high, of 25. The two freshmen combined for 54 to lead the Tornadoes to another 70-piece rolling over the Trojans, 74-44. The youth movement's here with those two girls, I'm telling you. I'm excited for the future. And just down the street in the Good Life City, the boys from the West hosting the k Row Syrup Makers. Just under two to play in the first half, Jackson Reese with the catch and shoot. Westover takes their first lead since the first quarter. The syrup makers answer right back. Bryson Duncan tips it in. Carol leads 23-18 at the break. Amari Powell drills the three to open up the third. Now it's the Patriots' time to answer back. Bryson Carter from beyond the arc counted and won. Westover knocking on the door within four. Anthony Williams good from far. Patriots also within one. Westover gets hot at the right time. Shots just not falling for the syrup makers in the final two minutes. Westover wins this one 52-46. Three Westover Patriots finish in double digits. Trevion Wheeler led the way with 16 points. All right, let's get to the Lady Pats looking to get 500. The Sir Makers looking for their second win on the season. And it's not how they wanted things to start off. Three consecutive takeaways by the Lady Pats. Westover takes the early six to nothing lead. And it was Sydney Donaldson. She was going to go crazy in this one. 18 of the Patriots, 24 first quarter points. And Westover goes on to win on the Lady side. This one as well. Big time win, 66-35. The Wildcats on the road at Sherwood action. The girls action all sly in the first half. Jamison Holloway into the paint off the inbound pass. And the Eagles tried to get things going in transition. Bella Molis is going to put it on the putback here. But it was too much defense. Better after the break. Holding the Wildcats to just 20 in the second half. Sarah Fredericks, 15 was the high for Sherwood. But in the end, it's not enough. Schley gets the win, 54-25. All right, let's get to the nightcap. Alex Harris and the Eagles trying to inch their way back to 500. And the Wildcats welcoming back most of the football team, Morgan, as many were <laughs> in the starting lineup. And we have to introduce South Georgia to Mr. Alex Harris. Throwback to NBA Jam because he was on fire. Sorry, kids, if you don't know, you better Google it. Harris, absolutely on fire. Knocked down four triples in the first quarter. Whoa. And had 17 points at the half. 
Sly would say enough is enough. They're gonna go to man-to-man -man defense. They get out of that zone and they would lock up Harris for the rest of the game. Wildcats lead 35-30 at the half and then three balls falling for both teams. Jalua Solomon from the corner and then Solomon 21 points in the game and just his third game of the year. And then don't leave number three open from distance. Jack Clark was making it look easy all night. Six triples for the senior. He and Solomon would combine for 39 of Sly's 68 points and the Wildcats get the 25 point win.